I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. The first episode started off. You guys are enjoying it so far. I am as well. We are inside Big B's apartment. He should have took me out to dinner first. I'm fucking with you. No, but we are in Big B's apartment. Should have cracked a window. This is the guy we're playing as. He should have cracked the window because it probably smells like hot shit in here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. So sit back and relax and enjoy The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, guys, but uh, video games help me. They help me feel better, and making videos for you guys help me feel better. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I was going to say help me feel good. What a night. What a night, what a night. Okay, let's see what we have to eat, because it's been a night. What a night. Can't eat that. Or can you? No, you can't. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Yep. Definitely. Can we read that note? Nope. Alrighty. Let's see here. Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Mm-hmm. Leftover Chinese food. Let's go. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> okay. And we got some fat-ass pig with thick-ass thighs. What to do, baby girl? Damn, that's a fat ass. Oh, hey, Big B. Mm. I'm in your chair, huh? Hell yes, you are. Yeah, get out. There's only one. Come on, I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Get your ass off that couch, boy! Before I put some barbecue sauce on you. <laughs> That's a big-ass pig. And he's mean mugging me. What you looking at? Got a smoke? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Giving a pig a cigarette. Thanks. Now I've seen it all. Couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. Don't be dramatic. You know like, I won't. Okay? Tell you, you what I told there. Toad. I won't. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I just want some rest. Take a sip. I just want some rest, pig. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? Better to be feared. I was just hungry. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Wait, so this pig is from the Three Little Pigs, Probably. and Bigby is the wolf that blew the houses but, down? Uh, no. Um, but I thought he was the also the wolf word. in Red they Riding Hood. fear you more than anything. That's what the huntsman you said. You a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean... Look at your hands. You should see the other guy. He got Who'd fucked you get up. In a fight with a fable, right? I'm sure you're not going. It's my job, baby. Monkeys. Not my fault. Don't need advice. It's my job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. Pretty much. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you too, you fat ass pig. 
So wait, I guess Telltale made the wolf go from you try two keeping stories a bunch of then. Fables from killing each other. Three little pigs in Red Riding Hood. works? I don't ass. Know. How? By being big and being bad. Oh yeah. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I only say it to the ladies. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. That one chick. There was a girl. Beauty. Toad. Ta -ta -ta. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. She never gave me her name, man. Calm down. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will hey, you Snow's shine? fine, man. Well, she got that. maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Boy, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. <laughs> Look, He's giving me those sad pig eyes. I'll give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give Colin a drink, take drink. You know what, fuck it. YOLO. Knock yourself out. He's crossing his legs like a shit don't stink, too. Thanks, Bigby. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this freaking pig. Yeah, get some rest. Get some rest, big guy. The big bad wolf. So like I was saying earlier, Telltale made Big B part of two fables. Little Red Riding Hood and the Three Little Pigs. But in its own world, they're two separate stories. I guess in the game, there's only like one wolf part of all the fable stories. That makes sense, I guess. Oh yeah, gotta... Oh, what's up, Mom? Big B! Snow? Come with me. Where are we going? Snow. Snow! What? Sup? Sorry, I'm... What happened? What is it? Where are we going? Slow down! Where are we going? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or... Evening. Evening. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. That was the most awkward hello ever. It's this just like, hi. Our paper uh, thing. hey. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. This girl? For is, like five seconds. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought. A I working knew girl, just a girl, her. prostitute. She looks familiar. She was just a I girl. Can't place her though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Who found her? What happened? Terrible. Did you see anyone? It uh, took me a second who found her? to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? It must have been that police guy I in did. the front desk. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. Oh, I grabbed never mind. Wimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... Oh, that I came makes to sense. Get you right away. 
no one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. You got it, boss. Why is she shocked that I did that? <laughs> like, she was already she dead, but I closed care. the eyes and then she was what like... What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Huh. That was all the way down I, her throat? I don't recognize it. Goddamn, baby girl. Neither do I. Ugh. Did this to her. What could do something like that? The axe. Either something very the woodsman's sharp, axe. Or He's just like with magic yeah. attached to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, most likely, he did that. Because I remember she put it in the back of his head, and he remembered that. He was like, "Oh, I got you, baby girl. Don't worry. When Big B leaves, I got you." And then this is what happened. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what, what do you want to do next? Investigate more, leave. Investigate, of course. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. What about you, lazy ass? Why don't you investigate with me? Let's, uh, let's look around here. There was like a cutscene and some blood was on the floor. Huh. Okay. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. How can you tell? Well, I guess you could tell by, like, the freshness of the blood. By how... I don't know. Man, I'm not a blood expert trying to act like I know what I'm talking about. Wait, what was that? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Trash can. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Huh. Sharp enough. So, the person cut off the head and then ran over here? No, no, no. That wouldn't make sense because we found, like, some fabric on the floor. So the person came this way, hopped the fence, got hurt, ripped a piece of their clothing and it dropped here and then that's why the blood trail is right here then they drop the head unless the blood is from the head already yeah detective j is on the case hold on snow let me check a little bit more make sure we didn't forget anything that's a keep off the grass sign look at the bushes oh yeah get a look at the bushes nobody there why would anybody be there if whoever killed that girl is long gone. They're not going to be waiting by the bushes. Unless Beauty's over there again with her hiding ass. Let's show Snow the ripped fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should... Move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her here. This is a message. Why yeah, are? I think it's a message. This is a Because why would they bring her right to the doorstep of where Big a P leaves? I don't know, Big P. Of course it's I a message. Complaints at the office all the time. The message is don't fuck just with me. What about this makes you think that? The placement of the head, the woodsman's threats. Yeah. The woodsman threatened to kill her with me in the room. 
Maybe he wants me to know that he did it. I suppose it's possible. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going Don't to Don't tell him. him anyway, do so what you need to do. Well just wait him. a little. It'll just be worse if he mm. finds out we held it from him. Do what you gotta do, girl. I know you... This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel, too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Yo, can we move this Crane's head out of here? What's important right now? People we live here, you know. They might get freaked the fuck so out. We can find whoever did this. Take this back to Doctor Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Doctor Swinehart? What the fuck is up with these names? Damn, girl, you were cute too. Oh well. Oh well. I like detective games like this. I really end up thinking about it. Like, try to think outside the box because obviously it's not going to be the most obvious person. But that makes sense that what, it's not blind? the woodsman then because he's obvious. Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. I don't you give a just shit. Walk in. Must I don't have nice time for this. I'm sheriff. cutting the line. Do I work the here. Fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Yeah, it would make sense that it's not the obvious guy because with detective games, it's usually not the obvious person. You the one and that's the woodsman right Snow, now. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I it's could. It's my fault. You Back off. To keep no one to blame. Stay out of it. Here. This is a disaster. I don't even know what's Who going on. To blame if not you? No one to blame. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Ichabod Crane. Tell me you've been <laughs> doing something. Are there any leads? Sleepy Suspects? Hollow ass. Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of Her evidence pimp? you two know what the, the hell you're doing. Could be blue. Right now, I have half a mind to Her fire pimp? the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'll he did him. it. It just Put means that here, he's a that's suspect. All have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Why is this guy so mad? Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. Ah, oh, come on, say it! We'll get on it right away. Come sir. on, Big B! See that his nose is bigger than his dick! Come on, say it! God damn it, I wanted you to piss that guy off. off more. That's what uh, I wanted to do. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Come on, Bigsby, give no Never fucks. Mind. Give no fucks! Smoke away. Crane is an asshole. He gets a morning massage. What's the wine about? Yeah, what was the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to hey, someone. Hey, don't smoke in front of her, I man. That's that rude. Damn bottle. Never blow smoke into a girl's is, face. That's just rude, guys. Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Who the fuck is you? A monkey with wings that's green? Drinking Love wine? You. And has nicer well, teeth than me? Yes, no. What in the world? Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it 
probably belongs to him? Maybe. Come on, man. This monkey's trying to get tipsy. I don't blame him. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm fine. I'm not great. Fuck off. No, this guy seems nice. I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin. That monkey Buffkin. is definitely Buffkin. Books. Which book? Saw, saw his arms? The ones Rips. with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hello. Oh, is this the lamp from Aladdin? No. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Ah. Oh. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. My idol. My idol when I was a kid. Magic mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. So, you know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Woodsman. I don't know her name. Yeah, I don't know her name, but can you tell me the fable of that? Snow Buffkin. Let's try I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Of course. Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? All drunk ass. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Uh, Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Well, it was an option. Come on, can you blame me? Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the <laughs> bottle and get to work. Still looking. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mirror. That's it. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. You got it, dude. That is a cool mirror. I feel bad for Buffkin. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Super clumsy, but... Thank you. Seems like a nice guy. Or whatever he is. Gargoyle. Okay, so we need to find the name of that girl that we saw. But the guy Buffkin got some books, so... Let's go check it out. Huh. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the... Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Okay, next page. Oh, the ring. Yes. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairao? I'll go look it up. Alairairao? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. 
Also known as <laughs> Askin. Askin? Uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Askin. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. Who? His daughter, Faith. Hmm. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Huh. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Ah, oh, that sucks. Donkey skin girl. That was What's her name. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we. Name was Faith. Yeah. Why you gotta say it like that, though? We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? He's our first suspect. We have to notify him. Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Yeah, usually when a murder happens, they say the closest ones to you are the first suspects. Like, if you're with a family and then a family member gets murdered or is missing, you're the first suspect whether you did it or not. That's just the way it goes. But now that we have a name, Let's talk to our mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, 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 <laughs> about this fable. Come on, man. Of which fable do you wish to know? You gotta have the rhymes, bro. Faith. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Well, fuck you then. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Why? Okay, uh, Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. <laughs> right? That dude is long gone. Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Is he wearing Vans? What's he been doing? Come on, dog. Wait. Where is this? Where's what? Bloody knife. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? Bloody if knife, you guys. Prince, Suspect. Located in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let's go. Let's do it. That's it. Thank you, Mirror. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Woohoohoo! Okay, I'm ready. Ah, uh, never mind. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What's up, bro? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big Big, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's do it right now. Oh, what a gentleman. She likes that. She's like, damn boy. He knows the way to my heart. I have a feeling Did Bigby Toad and Snow are going to hit it off. Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He 
Could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did ah. What's her husband's name? Okay, this is Lots. cool. We can actually That's choose where we want to go first. Okay, which one is more important? Toad called us. Some guy was like rustling through the stuff of the woodsman, I guess. And he could be gone by the time we get there. But Lawrence lives at his own apartment. So I think Lawrence can wait. I think Toad's is more urgent. What do you guys think about my decision? Do you guys think I'm making a good one? Let me know in the comments below. But I think we should go to Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Eh? Yeah. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Telling a person that your loved one got murdered and then their head was like on the steps of your apartment? There's no easy way to say that. The Woodsman apartment, South Bronx. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Wait, wasn't it nighttime? But now it's daytime, so the guy Somebody probably left already. Oh wait, someone is there. Uh, don't say anything. You gotta be quiet. Maybe we can Wait sneak up on him. Here. Come on, Bigby. Get your ass up those stairs, boy. Where you at, fool? Really? How did he escape that fast? No way. Lost him. No clue. Just disappeared. That is weird. I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! Who's that? Hold on. Should probably get that fixed. So, this whole apartment got ransacked, but... I don't even remember half of this shit. Yeah, like, I wouldn't even know what got stolen or anything. Hold on. Check this. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? I don't know. <laughs> a big hole in the wall. You did that. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Hmm. I don't really see anything. All right, I guess we'll check on whoever's crying. Is that his son? Toads, I think. His son cries like a little bitch. Be nice in there, okay? Maybe. Knowing me, I might not be so nice. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. The fuck is going on here? Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. That's bullshit. So, you know... I saw someone. Sorry What's going on? Who was crying? Into this, I saw somebody. Coming. Some Much big, swole ass dude. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Hmm. Something's not right here. Are you alright? I'm gonna figure it I out. He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry Somebody you was came in your building. here for nothing. I'll leave when I'm ready. But it was I'm nothing, gonna look around. Really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? 
The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Now have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. He's acting really <sighs> suspicious. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? He's so cute. It has a weevil. Cool. He's so cute. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. All right, let's do this, Bigby. Smash lamp, huh? What's this, Mr. Toad? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. Huh. The lamp just fell off the table. It just All the boy fell was off the table. about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? I don't believe you. Busted latch. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. You're lying. I can smell it on you. It smells like shit. Don't give me that look. This guy's lying. I should probably get that thing fixed. You should probably get your lying fixed. Come clean, Toad. Look around more. I'm not done snooping. I'm gonna find something, and you're gonna get caught red-handed. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Uh huh. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Okay, this guy is being overly weird right now. Like, we just met this toad, but you can just tell when a video game character is lying by the way that they're acting. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I- there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? This guy has an answer for everything. Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Huh. Okay. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? If you're gonna say something, out with it. But you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in Caught through the window? You said it yourself, the lock's been rotten for weeks. You yeah. wouldn't have needed a key to Suck get Suck it, Toad! Fucking hell, just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. Oh, yeah? And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Okay, okay. What's this fireplace poker, huh? And why is it all red at the tip, huh? What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff, now what? 
Uh, yeah, I thought he cut his hand. I was about to say that. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut ah! my hand first, and that made Got me him. drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. So first he cut his hand, then he cut his foot. Bitch, I'm about to cut you off in a second if you keep lying. Stop lying to me, Toad! Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're bullshitting. You're bullshisting. I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Huh. Dust ring. Wait, 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 wait. Said dust ring on the table. There you go. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. What toy could have made this mark? The broken lamp was here. That broken Boom. lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Because the it's shape is place. the same! Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? I fucking Bloody care. Yeah, mate, come on, get off with this. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? I like Big B, man. My face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial When here. I say so. In my own when you tell me the own. truth. It's when I figure out what's seemly. going on. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? You lied, Toad. Threatened Toad. I, I kinda like Toad. Out. I broke the lamp. So I'm gonna say he lied. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Oh. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Why did it's he lie, though? Money. Why did the Tell toad that. lie? Hmm. Do you know what he was looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, He'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. 
If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Find I feel bad for the toad now. I do. Holy shit! Ask him. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. That is Wait. a nice coat. I'd wear that. <laughs> I'd wear that in public and get laughed at. It's an envelope. Fucking hell! Of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or? Hell no! I'm reading this. We're detectives, baby. We gotta I'm read this. Sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. You should get that checked out. Maybe we can like patch that up or something. No. It was I feel very bad, nice and the the boy is so cute. Thanks. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Aww. I mean, you can't blame the toad for lying, though. He was just trying to protect his son. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When he put it that way. All right. Cool. So we went over to Toad's. We did a little investigating. We found out that Toad was trying to cover up a lie for some people named Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Obviously, I've heard that in fairy tales before, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. If you guys want to see the next episode where we go over to Prince Lawrence's place, please give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude?